Walmart pajamas, lounge stuff. I've got a quick, fun little video for you here today with honestly some of the best pajamas that I have seen in a very long time, all from Walmart. And if you're into robes, definitely hang until the end because I've got some robe things for you. Some good news, some great finds. You don't want to miss it. Let's go. This first option here, I have it in three different colors. So we have got black with some pink piping. We've got this color, which is pink and kind of like a tangerine orange. And then we also have blue leopard, also known as leopard. Okay, this is a short sleeve option. And the capri is kind of, I would call it like a normal length, mid calf style capri. And if you are familiar with the joy spun fabric in like, cause they've had these in long versions as well. It's that same fabric. It is a butter soft. It is oddly flattering. Not that pajamas need to be flattering, but they just, I don't know. It's not a contour, obviously, cause we want them to be loose and comfortable, but it's like, they just lay in a flattering way. And I have a perfect example. When I show you guys this one, um, I'm wearing my pajamas. I felt like I probably should wear my pajamas for this video. So anyway, my favorite of these is probably the black just because it's the most classic. I think in the pink version, you can see through to the boote just a little bit, which I'm personally fine with. And I feel like you're not really getting that with the other two darker colors. But you know, even just the stretch on these, they're just delightfully comfortable. I believe we're looking at $16.98 for the full set. Yes, yeah, $16.98. And that's for both. And these are the perfect thing for me with being pear shape. I can actually actually buy a set. If you're a pear shape like me, you probably know or have heard me say that I really struggle to buy sets, but something about this fabric, it almost doesn't matter what size it is, like to a degree, of course, and I just love it. And I'm wearing these in my true size extra large. I cannot, I cannot get enough. Mm, 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 mm. For these next couple, I wanted to do kind of just a couple different try on options for you. So I definitely like that this pair here has a drawstring. Again, it's very stretchy. There are pockets. We love that. Are there pockets in the last? Yes, there's pockets in the last three that we just saw as well. These, I would argue, and I mean, you can see here, they're they're thin, but again, in the, the most delightful way. But I would argue that you could get away with these as lounge pants. I'm huge on wearing joy spun stuff as lounge pants. I love it. <laughs> I think really these kind of couple of outfits that I'm showing you here, you really could get away. Wear like a cute bag, wear some sandals, do your hair, wear some jewelry like no one would ever think that you're in pajamas I mean even don't do that stuff and no one's gonna think that you're in pajamas and did we talk about before I love the fact that the inside of this says you are gorgeous I know that's just like a small little touch the other ones have it too but I just kind of love it I just kind of love it and these in particular I love how long the arm is I mean it's not weirdly long but it's also not any sort of a cap sleeve so I really like where that goes and I like that the sides have have a little bit of a V. Not a V to the level that I would recommend sizing down, but even in the try on footage, you'll see me kind of pop like a little front tuck in with these. And I'm, and again, like just kind of keeping it flowy and cute and casual. I think that they totally can be worn that way and nobody would ever know. <laughs> oh, pardon the interruption. It is just me, your host, Jen. If you did not know, you are watching my Wow Week series. Wow Week stands for Week of Walmart. I feel feature a ton of Walmart on this channel. So if that sounds good to you, you probably want to subscribe. I always like to say subscribe if you're awesome or subscribe if you want to be awesome. Yes. On this channel, I help you be your most confident self through style and fashion. <laughs> And we are a little bit goofy here. So that is that that is definitely a thing here. And we like to cook a lot of looks in the kitchen. That That's, that's what we say. We, you know, we be in the kitchen cooking them looks. If this is the first video that you happen upon on Wow Week, it is an entire series. So I will make sure to link up to the rest of the series down below, as well as at the end of the video. And if you would like to shop anything in this video, I am going to have all the links in the description box by number down below. And if 
you don't know how to get to the description box, just click the title of the video, which will open up a box and that will enable you to have access to all of the links. If you do decide to use my links, I cannot thank you enough. That really helps out me and my channel. And I will also put them in a pinned comment below as well. All right, next, also by Joy Spun, also size extra large. I'm gonna do a little bit of mixing and matching. I first wanted to get up close to make sure, hopefully that you can see that that's ribbed there. I would argue that these are a little bit less of a pass in terms of a lounge pan. I'm not saying you can't do it. They are a little bit thinner and there's not the drawstring. I do think a drawstring does a little something to kind of make them look more like a jogger or a pan or something, but nice and stretchy. I absolutely love these. Here is what sold me on these sets. And these sets, by the way, are sold separately and um, certainly you mix and match anything, but these are meant for mixing and matching. Oh my gosh, I'm just realizing I got the wrong size. Okay, I panicked there for a second. I did not get the wrong size. So in the pants and all of these that I'm about to talk about, because I have four different colors, I am wearing a size extra large. I'm assuming I went up to a 2X in the tank because I held it up and I wanted to have just, uh, you know, an overall kind of loose and flowiness to it. But here's what sold me on these. They have a built-in bra, which if you were anything like how I used to be, you hearing that you probably run away, but hear me out. I absolutely love built-in bras. And let me know down in the comments if you've ever tried it, where you are actually not wearing a bra. I feel like back when built-in bras were very popular, you were always just kind of combating the fact that like they were there and you're also wearing a bra. Like I felt like they came in so many things. It almost felt like, oh, here's a tank top that's meant to be worn like as a go out top, date night, girls night, whatever. And oh, it has a built-in bra. Why? Why? And you know, I don't want to speak for everybody. Obviously I can't. And my experience has always been being a little bit more busty. That just never worked for me. But let me know down in the comments, maybe that did used to work for you. Like when I used to hear built-in bra, I would be like, no, gosh, no. I would even cut them out of shirts back in the early 2000s. But you know, let me know if they used to work for you, even as go out shirts and stuff like that, or still do work for you. I don't see them much around anymore. But what I have learned is I absolutely love built-in bras when I legitimately would be in a situation where I'm not wearing a bra. And I actually have some camis from many, many years ago that I've held on to based on the fact that they have a built-in bra. I personally like them just because it makes me feel like a little bit more put together, I guess, even just lounging around the house. Not that I have to, I, w I go braless constantly, like let's be honest, but I don't know, it just adds a little bit of something. It adds a little bit of something like somebody, I run outside uh, to take my dog out or I go to the mailbox or someone comes to my door, which usually I probably hide first and then maybe I answer the door. But the whole like, I don't have a bra on. <laughs> I remember one time there was carolers that came to our old house and I did not have a bra and I was like, ah! you know, whatever, silly. But I just love this. And I, let me let me talk about the next kind of color because I've got lots of colors here. Really quick, before I do that, I know I also in the footage pop this over top of the last one, just to kind of show that everything is obviously mix and match. And you could wear this with the black pants that I showed that I said kind of could dupe themselves as a lounge pant, or also you could wear them with this ribbon pant and you got a little bit of a different look there. Uh, so let's move on to the blues and I'll kind of keep talking about it. The blues, I did a mix and match. I obviously have both and you can wear monochromatic or monochromatic or mix them. And I kind of actually did like them mixed. So the blue here, the pants, I found them to be a little bit see-through. I can even actually see it even just with my hands, but certainly with my panty lines, I could definitely see through it a little bit. Again, I don't really care. And they show cellulite a little bit more. I think on Instagram, I was like, there'd be some cottage cheese back there, but like, I love cheese. You know what I mean? So maybe you do too. And <laughs> I just don't really care. You know what I mean? I just don't really care. Uh, so I'm fine with that, uh, just considering that they're pajamas. But one reason why I'm really excited about these two is family vacations. So particularly when it is like extended family, the type of people maybe that you want to be wearing a brawl around. So I love the fact that on family vacations, you can still wake up together. You don't have to like rush to put a brawl on. You don't have to go to bed with a sports bra on, like whatever it is, even throw a robe on. You don't have to do any of that because you can just be wearing this. You know what I mean? And it'll just hold everything in. So in most of the footage, you are seeing me wear it kind of, I'd call it where my normal placement would be, which is maybe halfway up my back. I show it where it is all the way up so that you could see kind of how it affected my spice rack, if you will, my spice rack. <laughs> 
And in all the footage, by the way, I'm not wearing a bra because obviously I wanted to show the real situ, which is short for situation, which makes it way less cool that I said that anyway. And I, one of the things that I really liked about even having it all the way tight is it didn't feel like it was pulling. And part of that could be because I did go up a size from my normal size. But have you ever had that situation where you, you're about to go like this and that thing is about to bust up right above your, mm, you know what I'm saying? It's like gonna, no, like it wasn't even pulling. It was doing nothing. It was perfection. I loved it. And I also then showed it where it's fully the loosest, you know, just to kind of see what, what happens. For me, it's definitely a little bit too loose, but I just kind of wanted to show both ends of the spectrum. Now onto the gray pair, I would kind of say the same thing actually about this as well as the light blue that I felt like they were just like a little bit more see-through, a little bit more, you could see, you know, panty lines and not even, not panty lines, panties. <laughs> Who cares about panty lines when you're talking about sleep stuff, but panties itself. So like for me going on vacation, I'll probably take more like the dark blue, the black pair, whatever. I specifically have a family vacation coming up this summer um, that I already know that I'm totally going to wear these with. And I didn't particularly love the two grays together. It doesn't matter. These are obviously all mix and match. The gray would look great with the dark blue, the black, whatever. For me, it almost just reminded me of like a sweatsuit. And what's funny is when I was thinking about that is I feel like pajamas are almost like supposed to be a notch down from sweatpants, right? Like it's like you don't leave your house wearing pajamas in theory and then, but you would leave your house wearing sweatpants. For me, it's almost the opposite because I just started wearing cute pajamas. Like I was that person that would just change after I got home from work into sweats and I would just keep them on because they were comfortable enough to sleep in. So the fact that I am wearing matching cute pajamas, to me, it feels like like a little bit of romanticizing my life kind of situation. I'm trying to do that in little areas of my life. I know that sounds dumb if you've been doing that for a long time wearing matching pajamas, but I haven't like ever. I don't think ever. I don't think I've ever done it. So anyway, for me, it feels fancy. So that's why I kind of didn't like the gray on gray. But I also did try in the footage this gray shirt. So I think I got this in four colors on with this. And I did want to show that they are slightly different. Like they're, you can see it there. They're ever so slightly different. I didn't really love those together either. Again, I would mix and match them, which is totally fine. Next, I want to talk about two pairs of pants that I've actually styled for Wow Week because when I tell you that I was shocked at their pajamas. <laughs> so I don't have general try on footage, but I'll just throw up the other footage that I have of them. So I have one that's in royal blue and one that is in more like a bubblegum pink. I definitely like the blue one more. I am wearing these in a size extra large. And when I tell you, I feel like especially the blue pair feels like workwear pants to me. It's so crazy that it's not. Um, but this also comes as well with kind of a matching sweatshirt. And I did get the blue one. And right before I sat down to film getting all my footage, I was like, oh, I never tried that blue sweatshirt on. So let's take a brief pause and switch over to future Jen, who is trying on the blue sweatshirt and let's see what she thinks about it. I love it. We even got the full set on here. So this is in a size extra large. This is how it's looking and it's very, very soft. Very soft. I approve. <laughs> We are about halfway through this video, so please give the video a like if you are digging it so far. That really helps out me and my channel. And if this is your first time here and you don't follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, all the places, definitely go ahead and give me a follow because I show lots more looks and outfits on those platforms. I will see you there. Let's keep going with the video. Thanks, Jen, for sharing your feedback on that blue sweatshirt. Good to know. All right, so we're back here live, live, okay. And let's talk about robes. I've got three big robe updates for you. So the first update is that the robe that I talked about, uh, it was during Walmart holiday stuff. It is a cotton robe. It has kind of that lined piping. I have it in black and it has white lining. It has been restocked. I remember when I shared that, it went out of stock, probably because so many people were talking about it during the holidays, but it is a cotton robe. I absolutely feel like cotton robes do not get the attention it, they deserve. And I'm so glad that so many of you agreed on that in the comments. You're like, yes, because it's like, I just want to layer. I just want to be comfortable. I don't want to be suffocated. Like sometimes, yes, those big, fluffy, burly robes, they're necessary. But other times when I'm just doing my makeup, I just want something that feels approachable. I want something that feels like 
I am wearing a towel or something in a robe form that's light. I mean, they're even lighter than a towel. So they have been restocked, which is great. High week. Hey bud. They've been restocked, which is fantastic. I wear these in a 2X and I feel like that is generally up one from the size I typically would get. However, I like that size on me because if you are pear shaped like I am, like we've all seen a robe do this, right? A V leading up to the V and we don't want that. I want it to fully encapsulate these hips as I like to say. So 2X for me was great. And the fact that they have restocked, I definitely want to get more colors because it is by far one of my favorite things ever that I've ever gotten from Walmart and I feel like it's kind of hard to find cotton robes. <laughs> Let's talk about the one that I'm wearing now. Is this not the cutest pattern? And my husband was just down here and I was like, and even I'm telling you, if you don't do this and you think your husband, like my husband, like he's like, oh, what's that? What are those? This is not like sexy. It's not, but he thinks it's so cute. So then I want to do it because he thinks it's cute. You know what I mean? And I love it too. So he was eyeing me up wearing, wearing this. But anyway, <laughs> We got into a conversation then about are these peaches and I, th I think they are and I was just gonna say that that's super cute because like I've got a dump truck and obviously the peach emoji is what we use to symbolize large dump trucks you know so I thought that was actually kind of fun. So this is just like the first one that we talked about it's that same amazing soft material it does come in a bunch of different patterns or flavors as I like to say but it's shorts so for these because it's also still sold in a said, I actually decided to go up to a 2X. I'm very glad that I did because I just feel like I need that when it shorts just so that it doesn't like cut off my leg right in the middle of the, the most chubby part and it's gonna just be a whole situation. But again, what is so nice about this fabric is because this top is definitely bigger for me than I typically would wear, because it just kind of lays and drapes so nice, I feel like it doesn't look overly unflattering or bad. And, and in fact, I'd say it looks just as probably good as the smaller sizes that that I have. So I just love this fabric. Absolutely love it. So this next one here is also by Joyce Bun and it's new. This one comes in kind of group sizing. So I got this in a 2X, 3X just based on what I told you about the other cotton robe and how I knew that, you know, that's the size that I needed. So um, this fits perfectly for me. This is almost like the next level cotton robe, what I just described. So it's a little bit shorter even in the arms. I mean, can we see how thin this is again in the best way? It's kind of like if this material that we continue to talk about that's buttery soft, if this were even a thinner layer and it does go down below my knees. I like that there is an interior tie and actually there's also an exterior loop over here too. So you have the two typical exterior loops and then you have one over here too, which I thought was a nice touch. And it's just buttery soft and I love it. I absolutely love it. I can't remember if it comes in other colors other than black. I think it does. And then and on the robe front, the last thing that I wanted to note is that I just saw literally today, I saw an account that I follow post Joy Spun Waffle Robes. Oh, and it looks like they have so many colors. I definitely want to order a couple. If I get them in and can take the footage before this video goes live, I'll definitely insert it here. But at minimum, I wanted to share with you that those are new arrivals. I can throw up screenshots and all the colors that they come in and I'll definitely link them below. But hopefully we can pass it over to future Jen maybe and she could do a quick try on for us that we can insert in this video. But either way, I would highly encourage you to check them out. I've had some such great luck with the joy spun robes. I think that's it. I don't know if that was as quick of a video as I thought it would be, but I'm so curious to know what your thoughts are on matching pajamas. Do you wear them? Do you not wear them? Have you tried the joy spun pajamas? I am in love and maybe I'm being overly dramatic because I just discovered them. I don't know. Even if I'm late to the party, I'm here. I'm I've arrived. I brought bean dip. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, and that is gonna do it. I am so excited to hear down in the comments which one was your favorite item or outfit. So definitely let me know that information before you head out. And also, if this is your first video from the Wow Week series, Week of Walmart, definitely make sure to check out the rest of the series. I'm gonna have my entire Wow Week series playlist as well as my Walmart videos in general playlist linked up here at the end for you. And 
if you missed out on anything, you can just click right through and watch the next video or catch up on the series. And if you've been watching these live in real time, I cannot thank you enough for watching and hopefully loving the series. And as always, if you made it all the way till the end of this video, I cannot thank you enough. That really helps out me and my channel when you watch all the way to the end. So if you are still here, please let me know that by leaving me a heart emoji or the secret video word of spice rack. Don't forget to subscribe if you are awesome and click that notification bell so that you can be notified every single time I be in the kitchen cooking them looks and I will see you in the next one. Bye.